Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and uh, of course as we continue our look at the task manager here is a, a way to see of course your CPU usage but also check also the core usage so your CPU is divided into several cores and it depends on the CPU you have actually so go into your task manager right click in the taskbar click task manager here you'll go into the performance tab now the first at the top is CPU which is your processor this is what is the brain basically of your computer that processor has certain information and here you can see first of all its usage depending on what you do it is more or less used so depending on so for example let's me turn on Google Chrome and get maybe uh, this and here we go so I've got two browsers open let's go back and examine and you'll see the usage of the CPU it's gone a little higher and you've got the peaks so depending on what the computer's been doing it might use more power for certain things it might need more CPU processing power temporarily so this is what you see in this graph this graph goes from 0 to 100 percent usage you want to try to avoid in general uh, usage of 100% of the CPU all the time as it creates a lot of heat and might indicate something's just not right or some program is uh, having problems. Now this is the overall look of your CPU. In my case uh, this is a AMD Ryzen 7 4800H and you'll see it at the upper right corner. It will tell you what is the processor your computer is using. Processors have, of course, the main processor information, but you'll have different cores. Depending on what you have as a processor, you could have a single core and very old PCs, double core, quad core, eight core, some have 16 cores. It depends on the power of that processor you're using. And that is the number of physical cores. These are individual processing units if you want within that processor so it's like eight processors within one major chip that is a, the main processor and then you've got logical processors logical processors are created uh, in machines with hyper threading which means that when you have some logical processors your computer can actually handle more information at the same clock speed so typically the number of logical processors is two times the main cores so if you have a uh, single core old Pentium 4 well it might actually show up as a single core and a logical processor for two cores um, a dual core will have four and so on and here I've got eight cores so I've got 16 logical processors now one of the things that sometimes you wonder is yeah but when I use my PC how do I know if all the cores are really used or if it's just concentrated in one well the graph that you see here you can right click on it and you'll see change graph 2 and here you can actually click logical processors this will divide to all 16 in my case if you have four you'll see four if you have eight you'll see eight so it depends once again on your processor and you'll see each cores usage with its own little graph that goes once again up to a hundred percent it's not impossible that for certain utilization one core is used like you know really a lot and some apps actually use only a single core and it's of course depending on what you do and what apps you're using there are more or less uh, cores that will be actually used in the same time so this is nice because you can actually see not only the main utilization of your processor but also the utilization of each of the cores in your processor which is kind of cool to look at and of course to come back all you have to do is right click change graph to overall utilize utilization and uh, of course depending on how it works you have your clock speed clock speed is variable it depends on the load of the processor so how much processing power it needs usually the clock speed will go up 
as more and more work is needed. So it really all depends on the uh, apps and the programs you're using and what is happening. And it's totally normal that it's actually always shifting depending on what you want to do. So uh, this is kind of a cool thing to know and to see and also to have an idea of how uh, you know how, how hard your processor is actually working. Typically here, the holder your PC, the higher the CPU usage will be. For a simple reason is that as time goes by, updates and newer uh, software require more processing power to do some new tasks and some of the same jobs that it did before because they add capabilities to it. So older CPUs, which eat each upgrade to different software, newer software, well, you might see that actually the CPU usage is higher because it has to work harder to actually do the same task that it did five years ago. And that's why we have newer PCs with more powerful processors. So hope you enjoy our series on the task manager. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us, give us thumbs up, and uh, we'll of course continue examining the task manager in subsequent videos.